Breaking news, NASA is working with an eVTOL company to bring flying cars to America. Let's jump into it. So you probably have heard the big buzz all about flying cars and what do they mean and what they are going to do for the world of aviation and for the way that you and I travel around. Now, if you haven't seen it already, I've done a complete podcast with Tom on our Jet Fuel Aviation podcast channel where you can see us discuss in great detail all about the various eVTOL projects. However, this is now breaking news that in the world of eVTOLs, NASA has decided to partner up with an American aviation firm, Jolby, to bring their cars to American. So if you haven't seen the headline already today, pretty much that NASA is testing flying taxis made by an American uh, aviation company who wants to become the Uber of the sky. So they want to use uh, these flying cars as flying Ubers to transport people around cities. The idea being that you get off a plane at an airport, hop into one of these flying Ubers to go to remote towns and cities on the outskirts of the downtown area because a lot of cities are now located within urban environments that make them difficult to get out of. I'm talking about LAX, Chicago's O'Hare, New York's JFK. They're right in the hubbub and if you wanna get in and out, um, well, especially in JFK's case that already has helicopters flying between uh, Manhattan and the airport itself, then these projects are absolutely brilliant. And there are a variety of different ones that are building these aircraft that I've completely explained in the podcast that you can link below. But this is the first company that we're seeing partner up with NASA. So Joby Aviation, founded in 2009, they're probably one of the uh, main companies that's bringing these flying cars to the market. There are a few others that are also up there, but this one actually acquired the Uber flying car division back uh, last year. But in order for us to have these flying cars, they need to pass a whole bunch of technical specifications, as well as working with the FAA and noise and compliance, which all comes from NASA. That's right. You see, NASA is actually the agency when it comes to new technology in the aviation space to make it compatible with existing laws that we have, or to recommend to the FAA what laws we need to change to bring it to the market. So in order to do this, NASA is doing something rather cool. They're going to be taking the prototypes for these uh, these aircraft and studying how the vehicle moves, how the vehicle sounds, and how the vehicle communicates with controllers. So they're going to be seeing what the passenger experience is, what the pilot experience is, and what the experience is for the people down on the ground. So in order to do this, they're gonna have 50 microphones inside to measure how loud it is. They're also going to compare it to other vehicles such as jets, helicopters, and drones, and then use all of that data and system sort of service design to figure out how exactly this, uh, what you can see here on screen, actually fits in the marketplace because it's not a helicopter it's not a plane it's not a jet it's not a drone it's a whole new type of transportation entirely so i'm really excited to see this and they're going to be doing it down in big sur in california i would go if i could because i'm a huge fan of ev tolls thanks thomas check out the podcast and they're going to be doing this over the next two weeks so it's happening now and that's why it is such a cool uh, thing And once the FAA, they can start to build the legislation and the framework as to how these aircraft will work. And I am not kidding when I say that these aircraft are totally going to change the game forever. And you're going to see me become a little bit of a eVTOL fanboy here on this channel, the podcast, and found and explained as I explore these concepts in greater detail. If you didn't know already, Joby Aviation is also partly funded by Toyota. Its flying taxi is capable of traveling 150 miles and has a top speed of 200 miles per hour using six 
propellers powered by lithium batteries. The fact that it doesn't require any fuel like petrol makes it an ideal choice for these short range journeys. Because if you didn't know already, these aircraft are actually more fuel efficient than cars once you get over 150 miles per hour. So you can see for the, these short trips over urban landscapes, it's going to mean that we can now travel and get around our cities like never before. Of course, NASA does have their own motive for doing these tests because they actually want to use the technology themselves for aerial work missions, such as infrastructure inspection or search and rescue operation. Does that mean we're going to see a return of the Bell X-22, the veto aircraft of the future that never came to be? Perhaps, and I for one, hope that that comes true. Again, a lot of this information may seem out of the blue for you guys, so I recommend that you check out the EV Toll podcast that we completed on the Jet Fuel channel. So I'll put a link down in the description for you guys to go and see that, which goes for over 40 minutes explaining all the various different projects in the world of eToll aviation and why it's going to be such a dramatic change for the way we travel. Anyway, Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Here's some social medias on screen. Have a great day.